Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. With a new year right around the corner, it's common for people to talk about resetting their eating and exercise habits. Eating better is often part of New Year's resolutions for a lot of people. We are learning more about a whole food diet today, proper fuel for your body, and a few steps to help you either get started or continue your journey. Dr. Gary Meek with Meek Chiropractic is here with us. Thanks for, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me. So, Dr. Meek, I know you use a whole food diet with your patients as part of the treatment. Can you explain what exactly is a whole food diet? What does that comprise of? Basically, you're eating just whole foods. You're trying to get to natural foods that have not been processed. So, we've got a, if you look at the standard American diet, a big majority of it's just full of chemicals, it's processed. If you look at box food or canned food, anything that says fortified, typically if it's fortified, that means it's really not very good food because what they've done, they've stripped the basic nutrition out of it and then they've put in added vitamins and minerals. So we're really typically better off with what nature has for us originally. So we try to get clean meats, try to avoid chemicals in our meats. We try to have fresh fruits, vegetables, um, you know, nuts and berries. I, I try to follow along with uh, mainly a paleo type diet, which they get away from eating grains and legumes. And uh, one of the big reasons for it's because it's a high carb diet. So we really try to avoid carbs and sugars. What do you mean by clean meat? We've got some problems with the uh, with the basically the meat industry in the United States and a lot of the the feet. So I really try to go to like grass fed beef, free range chicken, that type, free range foods, deer. You know, wild deer is great. Wild wild animals are, are great and one of the things we have a problem with is so if you look at a cow in a feedlot uh, a, a cow in a feedlot can only live about six months on a corn diet which is basically what they're feeding them and so one of the problems is they get ulcers and they get sick so they've got to give them antibiotics to keep them alive and uh, people don't realize this if you start looking at some of the documentaries out there about food uh, it's it's kind of shocking what happens but you know all these things they're, they load them with uh, hormones you know, it's a problem we have, I think, with our younger kids. Kids are getting, uh, you know, they're getting hormones through their, their food. And so, you know, kids are maturing way faster than they did, say, 30 or 40 years ago. If you really look at the people that uh, are having chronic health problems, the majority of them are eating a poor, poor standard American diet. So how can we tell when we go to the grocery store which meats to buy and which meats not to buy if that's something we want to incorporate in our diets? Well, you've got to look for it. So you really want to find, you know, like when you're looking through the beef section, you want to look for, uh, you know, grass-fed beef if you can. Yeah, you know, if you don't get, if it doesn't say grass-fed beef, it's probably going to be feedlot beef. You know, you really want to look for uh, free-range chicken, that type of a thing. You know, uh, ocean-caught fish. We've got a big problem with our fish industry that they say it's a, it's uh, it's made in uh, it's ocean fish, but they basically put them in chain link cages along the. It looks like a boat dock, and what they do is to keep the fish alive. They they spray them with chemicals so they because they get diseases, and the people that spray the chemicals have to wear hazmat suits to be able because it's poisonous to them. So looking for those keywords: grass fed, free range, ocean caught. When we're buying food, yes, okay. wild caught ocean wild caught. caught ocean yes. Caught. I know you also have a service that's the pantry makeover and recipe makeover. I want to talk about the pantry makeover. Be okay. I, and tell me if this is kind of what it's like for me. If I don't want to eat something, I just don't buy it. If I don't have it at home, I know I won't eat it. Tell me about the pantry makeover. Is that kind of the idea? Yeah, that that's you kind follow? of the idea. The, the idea is to go through the pantry and see what you have in your pantry that's a, that's a, you know good quality food and what's junk. You know, if you if you buy anything that is in a package, if it has uh, long words that you can't pronounce, it's probably not the greatest thing to be eating. It's typically a chemical. And so we have uh, two certified wellness coaches in our office that can go in and they can come to your house and they can go through your pantry and just give you some direction about what you need to be looking for and what you need to do. And just getting out of that habit of relearning yeah. how to eat a how to shop is also part of it. That's where it starts. It's a big thing. You really have to cook. Fast food or eating things that are simple and easy to fix that's not real food, you're going to have problems with, with your health. I, I was at a conference in California uh, this past weekend, and they were, they were uh, talking about a study that was done, and it's uh, the government's talking about it, where, where about 10 years ago they were saying about 75% of our health care costs in the United States were due to 
uh, basic lifestyle issues that we have control over. It's our food, our diet, our stress, those types of things. But uh, now they've bumped that number up to 90%. So this stuff's even more important. So if, you, if you're eating a poor diet, you don't exercise, you, you, know, you just don't have a good lifestyle, you're going to likely be sick and, and uh, have a lot of health problems. And you said it's not also just about what we eat, it's the amount. You said recently you learned that the average person eats 17 times a day. Yeah, it's something we're talking about. I was at a conference, I think it was in the one in Dallas about six weeks ago, and uh, you know there was a guy there that's a world-renowned uh, rehab specialist on exercise, and he was his whole deal was we eat too much and we move too little is one of our biggest problems with obesity in the United States. But the really a big thing with where he was talking about was we're, we're eating, about, the average person's putting calories in their mouth about 17 times a day, which is a big problem. We're, we're grazing all day and uh, it ends up being a lot of calories. And so we really, I push a, an intermittent fasting diet. I, I typically do about a six to eight hour uh, span that I will eat food. And then you go the rest of the time without eating food. And one of the things it does, it really, when people eat calories all the time, you you basically overstimulate your system that, that produces insulin, which is what gets sugar. Uh, basically, it attaches to the cell to open up a gate in your cells to allow glucose or sugar to get in the cells for energy. Well, when we're eating all day, we, we basically get too much uh, of that in the system. The insulin becomes a problem. You become insulin resistant, and that tends to be a big reason why people gain weight. And it's also the beginning of what turns into uh, type 2 diabetes. And so by doing intermittent fasting, when you go through a period of fast, you basically stimulate that insulin system to work more efficiently. Dr. Meek with Meek Chiropractic, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. And we'll have information on how to contact Dr. Meek on our website. That's OzarksFirst.com. We'll be right back with more right here on Ozarks Fox.